Security forces have established a ring around the Rubiria Secondary School premises in Kasese district following an attack by alleged ADF rebels, which was carried out on a school last night. It is alleged that some of the dormitories which were found open, students were killed using pangas and bullets. However, the attackers killed those who had locked themselves up with bombs. They threw a bomb in a hostel that also killed 17 students. Some bodies are said to have been burnt beyond recognition and have been taken to Fort Porto Hospital for DNA to identify the rightful family. Due to the nature of the attack and rescue process, the actual death toll remains unclear, with 41 the most commonly talked about number among authorities. If I say the number is 45 which have died, I may deceive you when they are 30. So you should give us time. The Uganda People's Defense Force Commander of Operation Shuja, Major General Diko Lum, says they are pursuing the rebels to rescue people who were taken as hostages. We are following them up. By tomorrow morning, we think we shall have some results. He has called on the locals to look out for strangers in the area, following reports that some of the attackers had spent two days in the area. If you see any strangers, notify the security agencies. Delivering the Education Ministry's commiserations, State Minister for Higher Education John Chrysostom Muyingo assured residents of 5 million shillings for each family that lost a member as well as better security. What needs to be done to support the school that has that were burnt? Plus, I've seen the dormitories were burnt, so the government will also come in to see how, how much, how far we can go to support. As um, the East African community, we need to begin to interrogate uh, the provisions of the treaty that require that we cooperate on matters of our common security. The summit members and maybe urgently with the council members first, we may need a statement on what is happening. And we also want assurance on whether our people are safe in, in that particular area. The attacks are similar to those that were carried out at Kichwamba Technical College in 1998, where 80 students were murdered and over 100 were kidnapped.